In the final part of my amazing visit, I'm going to be learning about the conservation projects that the Big Cat Sanctuary supports. So, Bryony, I have to be honest. I have to say I was apprehensive about coming here because these big, beautiful creatures held in captivity, it didn't sit very easy with me. And I have to say that I have been pleasantly surprised because it's not just about people coming and gawping at these animals. It is about their care. It is about their well-being. It is about their cons the conservation element of it all. And having them here, you do the research, you find out so much more. And I just want to know, how would you yourself reassure people who wanted to come but had the same kind of apprehensions as myself? That's really reassuring for me to hear, and I'm sure lots of people would, you know, would question the need for animals to be in captivity. But I'm a, such a huge believer in the fact that if zoos weren't here, there would be lots of animal species throughout the world that would be extinct today if it wasn't for being held in zoological collections and as part of the breeding programmes. Not only that, but um, the financial support of conservation projects in the field. The vast majority of funding for in situ projects, conservation projects in the wild, comes from zoos. So it's incredibly important that people support their local zoo. Good zoos are all working together. You know, it's this fantastic network throughout the planet trying to support these animals in the wild. And it's important for big cats and it's important for all species. There's numerous species that have been saved from extinction in the wild because they've been held in breeding programs. I, I truly, truly believe that zoos are really imperative for conservation and the survival of lots of species in the wild. These guys are incredible ambassadors to help support and promote their conservation in the wild. And I found that the conservation work in the field is actually a global field and it's so very very impressive you know you have partners all over the world and James I wanted to know how do you choose those partners? At the heart of, of why we work with different conservation partners is knowing what they do knowing the people on the ground that are undertaking the work and and trusting the fact that they are going to deliver value for money for the donations that we're giving them that are, that are hard raised by the people that support us as well. Some of the organisations like Old Pegeter and the guys out in Newark, out in Africa, um, they've been supported by us and by Paradise Wildlife Park for a great number of years and we built a really strong relationship with them. But with all of the partners, it's about knowing the work, as I say. But also that the cat may be the catalyst and the reason why we're there. So every endangered critically endangered species that we have here at the Big Cat Sanctuary is a reason for us supporting that organisation and the cat will be at the heart of the work that they're doing but the organisation is also holistic so they're looking at the entire environment around that animal so looking at the other animals that are living and uh, being part of the ecosystem but also the human beings that are around and living with that animal so finding them alternative livelihoods running education courses. These are all really important reasons for us supporting that organisation and its work on the ground. They have to be doing that sort of work for us to give the funds that makes a big impact on the ground. I've come to the Big Cat Sanctuary. I've fallen head over heels with these big, beautiful creatures. If there's anyone feeling just the same as me, how do they become more involved in the Big Cat Sanctuary? What can they do? Anybody watching at home, anybody listening, how do they help? There are so many ways you can get involved with the Big Cat Sanctuary. I mean, the best place to look is our website, thebigcatsanctuary.org. There you can adopt a cat, you can make a donation, or go over to our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, where you'll see videos, pictures, all the news about the cats and what's happening here about all our events. But why not book an experience like, like you have, Heather, coming here now? Um, coming here uh, for an exclusive experience, whether it be a safari lodge day or just a big cat encounter here for a day, you'll get to see the cats up close and personal and you'll have someone with you that will tell you all about that cat, its personality, and learn about our conservation work that we're funding as well. But I would say probably the best way of getting involved with the Big Cat Sanctuary is to become a member. That gives us a, a monthly income, it's sustainable and it helps us do care for our cats here but also fund more conservation work. But for you, you get to get an insight from an email that tells you all about 
the behind the scenes stuff, you know, videos that other people don't get to see, and you get priority booking for our events. Our really popular open day events, for example, you get first choice of uh, coming to those, but also our conservation conversation events, which are our partners coming and talking about the work that we're funding out in the field. You'll also get a little pin badge, which marks you as one of the family. And that's the way we like to think about people who support us, particularly our members. They're part of the family. We're a family organization and we're all working together to help save the cats and to promote conservation. Upon leaving the Big Cat Sanctuary, I spent some time reflecting on what I've learned. I've met some stunning animals, spoken to some incredibly dedicated people, and learned about the impact humans are having on cats and other animals across the world. We can all take action, even if it's supporting the Big Cat Sanctuary and their conservation partners around the world. Together, we can make a real difference and have a positive impact on the animal kingdom. Mm -hmm.